Hey guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It Now Monday project, and today we are making a money holder for the graduate. Now I have two envelopes here because after I did the first one, I changed it a little bit. So the first one here in Design Space I want you to use the Cricut marker tool to draw on the envelope. After I did that, I didn't like it, so I decided to remove the marker and leave the envelope be blank. Then it was too blank, so I added a banner piece here just to bring some color to it. And this color can be the school colors, for example. On the outside here, the congrats graduate is part of the initial file. I changed that from a cutting file to draw file, so I'm able to use the marker rather than cutting it. Inside the envelope, we have the money holder itself. It's super cute with the cutouts there of the graduates kind of throwing their caps in the air. If you open it up, you have a spot for the cashier. I also added this piece. I was able to bring back some of the yellow that I used on the outside. So today's video, I'll share with you guys how to make the exact money holder here, this envelope without the drawing. But I'll be doing a part two video on this project because I want to share with you guys as well how you can change this out and make it just be a blank money holder to where you can save and reuse over and over again without having it be tied to a certain event or occasion. You know, maybe you want to save it and then have it cut out happy birthday or thank you or congrats or just a little image in the corner. You can do that as well or leave it be blank. But I'll do that video as a, as a part two to this one. For now, let's go to the computer and I'll share with you guys how to make the initial project. All right, at the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. On this screen, you want to stay here and you will see the graduation money envelope. Click on that. It's going to bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. All right, now we see we have the money holder here and also the envelope here. If you want to have the envelope cut the or draw the drawing on the envelope, you can leave this piece alone. I want to remove that. So I want to have my envelope selected. I want to right click on it and then choose detach. Before you click detach though, when you do that, you're going to detach the, the drawing and also the score marks. So it's very important not to move the envelope around. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to right click, select detach. I'm going to go ahead and click on the center of the envelope, click delete on my keyboard so that removed the drawing. Take my left mouse button without moving the envelope around and highlight the entire envelope as well as the score marks. Go to my layer tab and then click on attach. That puts the score marks back on that. So now we have a blank envelope. Set that piece aside. This piece here, which is the actual money holder, right click on that, choose ungroup. And so we can take this piece away. Now I do want to have the Cricut draw this out versus cutting it. But I also want to have an outline or a shadow piece. So I'm going to go to my left hand side toolbar, click on insert shape. I'm going to grab a circle, bring the circle over here. I'm going to click on this circle so I can see what size it is. Go to my right hand side toolbar, click on edit. I see this one is 2.43. So this one here I want to make I want to make it be a tad bit bigger. I'm going to click on this one, go to my edit panel and change this one to be 2.53. Then click on enter. And then this one, I'm going to go back and right click on it, choose move to front so I can have it on top of this one and see how they layer up. So now you can see there's just a tiny bit of the outline circle behind that. Now to make this be a writing file versus the cutting file, you want to have this piece selected here. Go to your layer tab. And when you have this piece selected, you can see all the components highlighted over here in your layer tab. You will see scissors. Go ahead and click on the scissors and change that from cut to write. And do that for all three of these pieces from cut to right. Now you want to take your left mouse button again across this entire circle, go back to your layer tab, and click attach. That's now attaching the, the draw link to the circle itself. It looks all muddled here, but it does draw out fine. So now we're done with this piece, and now this piece. I do want to add a banner to the front of my envelope. So I'm going to go to my left hand side toolbar, insert images, In the search box, I'm going to type in the word banner. Click enter. And the banner I chose is this one right here. It is from the bits and pieces cartridge. I'll have the number of that on the screen. 
I'm going to click on the banner, click insert images, and it comes in as two pieces or one banner, but it's grouped together. So I'm going to right click on that, choose ungroup, take the top layer off, remove that. Now I just have a solid piece here. I want to have this piece selected, go to my right hand side toolbar again, click on edit. I'm going to change the width of this banner to be 5.5 inches, and then I click enter. So now our banner is sized to fit on our envelope. Now you can make this be a tad bigger if you want to. I left it be the same size. Now as I said, I want to have a piece inside my money holder envelope so I can add something there as well. So I'm going to take the banner again, go to my top toolbar, click copy and then paste. Bring this one down. I'm going to have this piece selected, go to my edit panel again, change the width from this one from 5.5 to be 3.3, hit enter. So now it's much smaller to where it'll fit right there where I want it to. I do want another copy of this so I can layer it behind another color. So I'm going to go back to my top toolbar, click copy and paste again. Now I have two banners. This one I want to change the size of this one as well. So go to your edit panel. I'm going to unlock the lock this time. Change the width from this one to be 3.3 to 3.5 and the height I'm going to make it be 6.5 or I'm sorry 0 0.65 0 0.65 for the height. I'm going to go to my layer tab I'm going to click on this banner the smaller of the two I can see where it is here because it'll be highlighted click on the banner and change that color to be white and then bring this over highlight it right click on it move to front and then bring it down on this one to where we can see how it fits and I think it fits pretty good. Now I do want to add text to this piece as well. I'm going to go to my left hand side toolbar, click add text. I'm going to type in uh, so proud of you. Oops. So proud of you. Okay, so I have my font selected. I'm going to bring that down here. I'm going to go to my edit panel. I'm going to change all font to has a writing style. So now we're using the marker tool. I'm going to change my font. So I'm going to click on where it says Cricut Alphabet. Now I'm going to scroll down and the font I chose was Dear John. It's kind of a smaller font. Now I'm going to bring this font over and just use my arrow tools to make it smaller to fit inside that banner here. Okay, now once I think it fits, I'm going to highlight the banner and my text. Go to my top toolbar, click on Align then go down and click on center. Go to your layer tab and click attach. So now again that attaches the wording to that piece here. All right, let's go ahead and click on go. Now we click on go, we can see we have six mats we need to cut out. We're going to minimize the mats. So let's go ahead and click on the X over here to close that screen out. Go to your right hand side toolbar and click on sync. Now we can see all of our pieces here. So this piece I do want to be black. I'm going to change that. I'm just going to drag it down, drag this over. So all these, all three of them, the money holder, the envelope, and this outer circle are all in the same color. This yellow piece, I want to be white. I'm going to drag that up to the white piece here. This piece I want to be white, which is already there. My two banners, I'm going to bring them up as well. All right, going to click on go. Now at this point on our white layer, this is fine. That's going to be black and black. This piece is black. This piece here we want to rearrange so we can add our colors. So I know this piece is the liner. I want that to be white. My greeting as well as white. This smaller piece is white. This piece here I want to change that to be whatever color but I do want them to be the same color. And again this could be the school color um, of the graduate school that is graduating. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. It's fine to cut out. I'm going to click on go, cut all these out with a table and put the uh, money holder together. All right, guys, we're back. Everything went ahead and cut out. The first thing I'm going to do is go to layer my two banner pieces together. That way that part is done. All right, set that aside. All right, so now I have the actual envelope itself, and you'll see the score marks there. Just go ahead and give them a little crease. Go this way. 
Now I just kind of go in there and finger press them first. And this one down here. Just be careful with it because it is intricate there. Okay, now I'm going to go in there with my bone folder and go in and give them a crease. So we have that piece. And this piece here. And this piece there. Okay, so that is done. We can set that aside. Now we have our envelope. Do the same. Go in there and finger press all those score marks. Just to kind of get them going. Get them started a little bit. And I use black paper. You can certainly change the color out. You know, you can make it be white. You know, whatever color you'd like your envelope to be. Okay. Now you'll see here when you fold it down, you will see one side is more flat. One side has a little bit of opening. This is the bottom. I am going to go in here and kind of cut this down a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Just so it goes to a little bit neater for me. Less bulk. Okay, just go ahead and cut on the angle there. And I'm doing it again on the part that is straight at the bottom. Put it over this way. And just go in there and cut. You're not going to see this part. I just find it's less bulk for the envelope. All right, we're going to put this up. I'm going to put glue on one half of this piece here, like that. Okay, and then fold one side down. That way that kind of keeps that in place. Now I'm going to bring glue all the way down the side of that piece here, all the way down, and all the way down here as well. Okay, and then we can bring this piece over. So now our envelope is done. I'm going to flip it over and just kind of give it a rub and let it sit there for us. Okay, that is good. Take my large banner. And again, you don't need to do this. You can leave this part completely blank. You can cut out the words congrats and put that on there. You can do the word of the person. You can do David. You know, there's tons of ways you can really make these your own. And I emphasize that over and over again with the make it now section. It's just a really good, a great place to get ideas, but also change things out. I need to lift this up, make sure I'm somewhat straight there. Okay. All right, now we have that done. Let's work on this part. So this part, we have the white, which is the liner, and there's a score mark in that as well. I'm going to crease that really well. You want to make sure you're straight. That's why it's important to finger press first, because you may go off a little bit, which I did. Okay, so just re-straighten that out. All right, so now we have the large area here, which is going to go right here on the inside. Okay, just like that. So I'm actually going to leave it like this. I'm going to take my glue and put glue all over this piece here. So go all the way around the edge, on the bottom, and then just kind of hurry because this is the art glitter glue and this dries really, really quick. Just kind of dot around just so this piece here, all these cutouts will kind of lay flat for us. Okay, just kind of dot my way along real quick and then I can kind of fill in the larger areas here. Okay, just like that. Take this piece, have that nice sharp crease in there, and you're going to take it and just lift it up and scooch it over. Make sure that and this, that crease is made up. And then just take this part and just kind of rub it down. Okay, now take this piece and then put glue on that flap here. And again, you can change this out. You can make it this be another color if you want to as well. Okay, so that serves as our liner, allowing that piece to show through. I'm going to flip it over this way and just go ahead and reinforce that crease again. Like that. Okay, now all we have to do now is put glue on these tabs and fold this up to create the pocket. So put glue on this piece right here. And then on this little flap over here. And then fold them up to create the pocket for the cache to go into. And again, I'm going to flip it over this way just so the glue can kind of make contact a little better. Okay, and we are good to go with that. Now let's take the cache out of the one envelope I have over here. I had to borrow money from the hubby. Okay, and this flap, 
I'm going to glue that down some more. That didn't really make contact here. My glue may have dried a little bit too quick. Okay, I'm going to fold that back up there. I'm going to hold it down really well this time. Just give the glue a second to, to kind of grab. And also to dry before you go in and pry it. Okay, that should be good. Take your cash, whatever you're going to put in there. You're going to plop it in there. Of course, I got wrinkly money. There we go. Super cute, right? So we have money holder here. Oh, I forgot to do the greeting on the on this side. Let's go ahead and grab a little greeting. You know, because it kind of personalized and personalized it a little bit. I'm gonna put this down right here. So when they open it up, they'll see that we are proud of them. Okay, that goes there. I'm gonna close this up. Put this in our envelope. And whenever I have a cutout or something like, I always put it that that side down. All right, so now our envelope is done. Get that little in there. Fold this piece down. Take the front of our greeting, and I seem to have lost my. I did. I lost my black circle, but I would put my black circle on there. Take some dimensionals or foam tape. And I kind of go north, south, east, west on these guys, and then one for good measure in the center. My black circle, I would just take my liquid glue and glue that right down to that piece, and then layer this on top so it kind of stands out. Okay. And you can see we used a marker on that and that came out fine using the marker. And again, you can go in there and completely erase that circle and add your own greeting to that as well. So you can personalize this, congrats David or congrats Jen or whatever you want to say. And I think even, I think you don't even need that black circle. You know, there's with the black circle. You can see a little bit in there's without. So it's up to you guys. But anyway, there you have it. Really cute graduation money holder. And like I said, stay tuned for a part two of this video. I'll share with you how to remove all this and then change this out to where you have a blank envelope you can use over and over again. You can just save that file in Design Space so it's there to use. And then also share with you guys how to go in there and add a cutout of happy birthday or thank you or just a little image in the corner or something like that. But anyway, there you have it, guys. Today's Making Up Monday uh, project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.